Hello guys, just promoted third officers. Welcome on board your large brand new ships. You are probably eager to start performing all that third mate job, but still not sure where to begin from. Then this video is for you, let's try to figure it out. When you join a ship and meet third officer you're going to relieve, the first where you start the handover from, in most cases, is checking of the third officer working folder on the ship's computer. Usually it looks like this, more or less. Let's see the first folder. It's called handover, usually. Here you can find a document with description of your actual work. Officially. List of your duties and responsibilities you can find in company's SMS, Safety Management System. So, handover information. Here you can see what your duties are, like timings of watches you must to keep, safety works, paperwork you have to do, etc. On different ships, in different companies they can vary, but in general they are more or less all the same. So guys, I will not talk too much about navigation and cargo watch because it's common duty for all officers. Just what is needed to say is that as third officer, usually, you have to stay watch at sea from 8 o'clock till 12 o'clock and from 20 hundred hours till 24 hundred hours. The time from 13 to 15 hundred hours is used, usually, for doing some works on deck or paperwork, if captain will not let you to do it during the navigation watch. In port, if there is no additional officer on board, you have to stay watch 6 after 6 hours, from 6 o'clock till 12 o'clock and from 1800 hours till 2400 hours. Your mooring station is, usually, aft, but it can be forward too. And also, take into account, that usually one hour before departure you must start preparing the navigation bridge and actually the ship for sailing. On the first day it will, probably, be done by other officers, but you can be the one too. So now let's see where you should begin from on board of the ship as third officer. So, when newcomers arrived on board, you should collect their passports, seamen's books and working certificates, as well as yellow fever certificates and medical examination certificates. You need that all to fill up appropriate documents, but probably even before that, captain will ask you to give all that passports and certificates to him. Actually, in most cases, that's all what you need to do before departure from the port. Sometimes, even collecting newcomers' documents is not so hurry, if only agent does not require to do some changes in the departure crew list or other documents, and there's nothing to do with custom and immigration anymore. So guys, next what you should do soon after departure is familiarization. In accordance with this document you have to show to all new crew members where are locations of life-saving appliances and fire-fighting equipment, alarm signals, means of escape and etc. During handover off signing third officer should familiarize you with all those things. As soon as familiarization will be complete. You should fill up this document for each crew member, and they have to sign it. Muster list. You should change names, remove old muster lists, print out and post renewed muster lists on each deck. Usually it's just free Excel file with names and duties. But also very often there is special company form that you must use. Next of kin. This is document where you should fill up some data of new crew members, like home address and close relatives, like wife, mother, father, sister or brother. cabin cards. 
These are cards with personal emergency duties of each crew member taken from muster list. You should also update the names and put them on the cabin door or inside the cabin. Security. Here are some documents that, most probably, will be done by you too. Key list. Time to time you have to check which keys are kept by one or another crew member. Ship security crew list. Such crew list that will be used for some security purposes. Also, you have to update it after crew change. Such a crew list or ordinary crew list, you have to put inside the fire plans located on both sides of the ship, also soon after crew change. Squad list, ship search list. This document you'll meet on all ships. It is quite important. After leaving the port, a search is announced on the ship for stowaways and suspicious subjects. So you also need to update this document, so that newcomers know where to go to search. Phone numbers cards. If you are not so lucky and there is no cadet on board, then this paperwork will be also on you. You also should update them and place them on their locations as soon as possible. Okay, and one more document that you'll be asked to do actually for next sign-off crew members is Certificate of Discharge or Seafarer's Ship Service Certificate, where also you should to fill up appropriate information and indicate dates of embarkation and disembarkation of particular crew member. So guys, that's basically all you have to do in your early days on board. In the next part we will see which port papers need to be prepared before arrival at the port. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.